Hello everyone and welcome to episode 4 of making the grab pack 2.0 in Unity 3D. In the last episode, we made the green hand and gave it the ability to open doors and activate the purple hand boost pads. If you haven't watched the rest of the videos, then I highly recommend you do, or you can check out my community tab for the latest version of the project, which is a great starting point for this video. In this episode, we're going to create the flare gun with a working ammo system. We're also going to add more sounds and fix some issues with the green hand and the character jumping. I just wanted to give a reminder that when using assets made in these tutorials in a public setting, like games or online videos, it's important that you link back to my channel as credit. Also, make sure you aren't just selling assets, scripts, or models that I've made, but you can always use them in your own projects. I love seeing what you guys create as long as proper credit is given. You can find all the assets used in this tutorial in the Google Drive linked in the description. And if you're not subscribed, please consider doing that, it helps out a lot. Now, let's get into the video. First thing you want to do is open up the grab pack script. The new version of this code is in the Google Drive. All you need to do is replace your current script with this updated version. Moving back into the inspector, you're going to notice there is a ton of empty references. We're going to need to create objects to fill all of these spots. Let's start by downloading the Flare Projectile Unity package, which is also in the Google Drive. In Unity, you can import this by selecting Import Package, Custom Package, then locate the file. Drag the newly imported Flare Projectile prefab into the Flare Projectile reference. Make a new empty game object called Barrel as a child of the grab pack. Place it right at the end of the barrel on the flare gun. We can now make this object the reference for the barrel. Set the flare force to 0.45, the cooldown duration to 7, and the flare lifetime to 10. Now, back into the Google Drive, download these four sound effects. Once the sounds are imported, you can assign the audio references like so. Set the reload timer to 3 and flare ammo to 5. Make a new cube with a black material. Move and scale it so it fits onto the flare gun just like this. Make sure it is a child of the flare hand. Name the object screen. Create a new 3D text called ammo counter. This may take a while, but try to place it perfectly onto the screen. You can set the text value so it displays 5. Make sure it's a child of the screen. Back onto the grab pack, you can set the text mesh reference to ammo counter. Now, right clicking on the canvas, create a new UI text called reloading. You can set this up really however you want it to look. You can also add an outline component so you can see it better. Now, reference the new text object in the grab pack script. Open up the simple FPS controller script and replace it with the new version in the Google Drive. This will just fix a few bugs with the jumping. Before the end of the video, I just wanted to show you guys how you can use some of the files available in the description if you want to have access to the exact project that I'm using to make the grab pack. You have two options. If you're making a project using the old versions of the grab pack, then you just want to download the episode4scene.unity package. But if this is your first time following one of these tutorials, you'll want to download the whole grab pack project folder. Then in the Unity Hub, you click open and then locate the folder you just downloaded. And that will bring us to the end of this episode. I know it was a shorter one, but I still have more episodes planned. And in the next one, I want to add the blue hand scanner and the battery mechanics in chapter three. Anyways, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Comment your ideas for future episodes in the comment section. See you in the next one.